Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. All right, well, the normal high for July 8th is 84 degrees for the greater Hartford area, and we were very close to that. The uh, high temperature of Windsor Locks was 85 so far in Hartford. The high reported is 82, and it was 84 degrees in Meriden. A very comfortable day with uh, temperatures in many parts of the state staying in the mid and upper 70s, so not bad, especially with the lower humidity, and there's no rain to worry about. And I think this is going to hold true through midweek. It's later this week, especially late Thursday and Thursday night, when we'll start to see the risk of showers and storms on the rise. There's our ICAM in Windsor Locks. Beautiful sunny skies right now. And we look at our ICAM in Hartford. Nice and sunny as well. And we uh, focus in on New Haven and look out over the water. Great day for boating, but a little bit cooler at the shoreline with temperatures now in the 70s and 76 in New Haven, for example, also in Bridgeport and Groton. That's a popular number along the I-95 corridor. But Windsor Locks is at their high for the day right now with the current temperature of 85 degrees. And dew point temperatures away from the coast are in the 50s, even as low as 51 in Willimantic. So this is very comfortable humidity for this time of the year. It's a little bit higher near the shoreline due to this light onshore breeze right now. We got a wind out of the west southwest at eight miles an hour, for example, in uh, New Haven at Tweed New Haven Airport. And we look at the bigger view, you can see all the really high humidity is off to our south where dew points are in the 60s and 70s. But here in New England, dew points are mostly in the 50s. And as high pressure builds in from the west tonight, and sits right over us tomorrow. It's going to keep the dry air in place. So looking at the larger view, you can see that this morning's clouds cleared away. In fact, it looked uh, very cloudy in many parts of the state early on. There was even some showers at Grays Fairfield County, but that's all gone. It's moving into uh, way to the south as high pressure is moving in from the west. And you can see that, uh, you know, 7 o'clock this evening, we'll have the uh, clear skies right through tomorrow morning as well as the high moves in. And throughout the day tomorrow, a mostly sunny sky with just some fair weather clouds mixing in. On ahead to Wednesday, high pressure still in place. It's going to move offshore, so we'll start to get into a more humid southerly flow, but it's going to keep us nice and dry right through midweek. So lows tonight, 55 to 65, some great sleeping weather uh, for tonight by July standards, a nice comfortable night. And for tomorrow, mostly sunny, very warm, but the humidity is still going to be low. We'll see highs right up there between 85 and 90 away from the coast. Now we could be heading into a pretty good spell of hot weather if this forecast Pans out, we will have a six day heat wave. So up to 91 on Wednesday, 90 on Thursday, 92 on Friday, and it could stay pretty hot over the weekend into early next week, too. Now, the next chance for showers will come on Thursday late in the day. Showers and thunderstorms around Thursday night, and maybe a lingering shower or two on Friday. Right now, the weekend looks okay, except for some late day storms Sunday, potentially. And for the shoreline tomorrow, we're forecasting a high of 86. Okay.